We are live at Campus Field in Fairfield, Connecticut, and this is Northeast Conference Football on ESPN3. Today, it's the LIU Sharks taking on the Sacred Heart Pioneers. Regan rolling, getting pressured, unloads. This one could be picked off, and Brito does, in fact, come up with the interception. Chase Bradley with the pressure, and Regan with an ill-advised throw. McCray looks to the right sideline, wide open, completed pass. That's good enough for a first down to Troy Holland. McCray with a delayed count. Hands to Chestnut, behind right tackle, and he dives into the end zone for a touchdown. Chestnut scores from two yards out. It's his third rushing touchdown of the season, and Sacred Heart takes a six to nothing lead. Call it third and 10 from the 13. Womack is wide to the right. Nick Gill has checked in wide left. Back to throw goes McCray. Looks to the left side, end zone, touchdown! Rob Donota! And the Pioneers take a 13 to nothing lead. Well, there is, Absolutely. they put the ball back in play for Marquez McCray out of the pistol, hands off to Chestnut, turns the corner, kicks on the extra Jets. He's got a first down and plenty more, dragging a couple of tacklers out across the 30 yard line. Uh, was hanging on for dear life. They'll go back to Chestnut here. He's got some room down the sideline, and it's another first down for the Pioneers running back. Third and long. They gave up the middle of Chestnut. He can break it. He's got the first down. Can he go all the way to the 40, to the 30? Chestnut down inside the 20, down to the 10, and in for the score. Julius Chestnut goes 67 yards. Well, that was unscripted. My goodness. A defensive end's job to have that contain uh, has definitely been a big tough task today. Call it a loss of one, second down and long. McCray with the snap, deep drop, gets pressured, gets out of a tackle, and then hits Brantley, and that's going to be good enough for a Sacred Heart first down. Second time in a row, a broken play has led to a first down, especially when you talk about a, th a third and long or a second and long situation. McCray. Hands to Chestnut, up the middle, powers through, and then leaps into the end zone for the touchdown. Julius Chestnut with his third rushing touchdown of the day. This one goes for nine yards, and the Pioneers are on top 27 to nothing. Unless LIU decides to call for time, and they will not. We are down to five seconds left, and the clock drains out as Sacred Heart knocks off LIU 35-7. to seven. Thanks, Paul. Julius Chestnut, how about the game for you today? 203 rushing yards, four touchdowns, another 46 yards through the air. Why were you able to have the success that you did? Uh, just the coaches putting trust in me and me being a leader on this offense is, is a tremendous honor for me. And I gotta, I gotta be able to push the offense and the offensive line doing a great job in front of me to allow me to have 200 rushing yards. I know coach wasn't the happiest with the crispness of your game as a team in week one. What did you guys do during the week to try to come out and put it all together today? Absolutely, we, we, we had a rough game first week. We just got back in the film room, focused, got uh, mentally strong, and was able to uh, come up with a win today. Take us through that long run on third down. What did you see and, and how'd you find the daylight like you did? I, I just seen my parents in the end zone. I said, I got to run to them. That's all it was. <laughs> I, had to, I had to get to them, so that's all it was. All right, final question. This is a weird short season, right? You're already halfway through it. So what do you guys have to do now to sustain mo your momentum and try to get into that title game at the end of the year? Just keep listening to coaches and doing our job, man. And hopefully we'll maintain the, this little win streak we got going on. Julius, good stuff, man. Congratulations. Thank and we'll you. see you next time, right? Thank you. Paul, back up to you. All right, John, for Chestnut, that's a career-high four rushing touchdowns today, tying a career-high with 203 rushing yards. He now becomes the third player in Sacred Heart history to eclipse 2,500 uh, career rushing yards behind Kashada Spence and Ed Percolo. 
my goodness, he's only a junior, Roman. There's more to come. Yeah, and it was it was really impressive to see him uh, play uh, in person uh, live today and uh, heard about him two years ago, the 2019 season. Obviously, uh, all the coaches and players have had to suffer through some of the challenges this year, but uh, this offense goes where Julius Chestnuts goes, and he went today uh, very successful on the field and a great, good young man, good leader, good person, all the things you want in your running back. Thanks for joining us for Northeast Conference football today, folks. For Roman Oban and John Schmelk and our producer-director, Jared Fieldsand, I'm Paul Dottino saying so long from Fairfield, Connecticut, where our final score is Sacred Heart 35 and LIU 7. All games airing on the ESPN networks are streaming live and archived on the ESPN app. This has been a presentation of ESPN. So long, everybody.